Hey guys, it's Candy again from Candy's Craft Corner .blogspot.com and Candy's Craft Corner 1 here on YouTube. Uh, I just want to share with you a short video today on how I store my Baker's Twine. I just want to say that this is not my original idea. I got the idea from Sarah over at Live, Love and Scrap over on YouTube. Hi Sarah, thanks for the great idea. Uh, sh you guys should go definitely go check her out. She has some awesome videos over there. She does awesome things with the Cricut and with Scrappy Mom stamps. Anyway, so I just pulled this drawer out of my Recollections Cube. Okay, so this is where how I store my Baker's Twine. So I cut all of these out of lightweight chipboard. Um, I cut them out of the tags, bags, boxes, and more Cricut cartridge at 4 inches. And it comes with a little hole. So what I did was I unraveled uh, all of the twine, which you have to do very, very carefully because uh, they get mixed up so easily. And believe me, it's a nightmare when they get tangled up. Anyway, believe me, I know because doing all these, mine got tangled up uh, at least a dozen times, I think. Ugh, nightmare. Anyway, so I unraveled all the twine and then wrapped it around this little... Um, tag and then just cut a slit at the bottom um, so that the twine doesn't unravel. So I use my P-Touch label maker with my pink tape. As you notice they all look like little candies. That's one of the functions on the P-Touch. Anyway so I put all the t uh, names on the back and the front so I have them all um, in color order like all my purples together pinks together uh, orange Halloween the yellows blues and the black um, I have some extras because sorry extras back here because uh, I got some more coming in the mail uh, blacks greens lots of green brown I love the names they put on them. Cappuccino and Mandarin. Maraschino. Awesome names, eh? Anyway, so that's my little tip for today. Oh, I didn't tell you. Uh, what I did was I cut a piece of foam board. And it's not even, it's just lodged in there. I was going to glue it. And I decided not to glue it. So... Uh, yeah, so I think it's just like three inches tall and Just lodged it in there. So it acts as a divider so they don't all get mixed up Okay, so that's my tip today guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye